Hello! Welcome to the stream, everyone. Whoops, I forgot to turn off the music. <laughs> I am not the smartest person. Um, welcome to the stream. <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope you're well. Uh, wait, I forgot to... Ba -ba -da -ba -dum, turn on audio. Silence to speak with the music and background is nice. Oh, I suppose. I guess I could try. Uh, to be honest, the reason why I didn't hear it is because my headset died uh, or ran out of battery like um, like like 30 seconds before I came back. So yeah. Look what I have. <laughs> oh my god, Yui. <laughs> It's amazing. I love it. And Eert finally got her Iron Golem, so woo! Also, I forgot to change the text. I am very organized. Um, what are we even doing today, chat? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I believe we'll... Like, we're about to go to the Obsidian Pillar, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or is there something else we were doing first? Grinding, grinding, more grinding? I guess that works. <laughs> mm. Perfect. I, I figured out what's right there. Thank you very much, P <laughs> Perry Meyer. So. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I was a bit confused. You're Myra, right? Yes, I remember now. I uh, I have a terrible memory. I'm not very good at names. Changing names is confusing. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I, I remember. <laughs> Don't worry. Alright, so, um... I need to figure out what exactly goal for today is. I believe we should just... I guess we can just go to the Obsidian Pillar. Uh, Pinnacle. Unlock a new difficulty. Um, because I, I like. Uh, wait, here, do you want more iron golems? Because, like, I, like, last time what we were trying to do was grind up so we could farm for iron golems. Uh, but then then you, you got an iron golem. But, but then I realized you might want more than one. So. I, I guess we can go for that? But in that case, we should go for the uh, final boss first. I feel like it's a fun way to start the stream. Eventually, not a priority for now, focus on the side quest. What is the side quest? Uh, like like the... Um, oh, the mushroom island thing? Oh, sorry, the uh, secret uh, mushroom level? Cow level? Something like that. Upgrading your powerful bow. Oh, oh, so we should farm first. All right very very quickly <laughs> Before I get confused um, Do you want to farm since you, your bow is in the blacksmith? I already have stuff in the blacksmith, but it's not too important. I don't think I have better stuff You don't care. Okay, uh, let's let's go for doing the um, what's it called? What's it called? Not sure what it's called, but I believe the next level will be Descent, uh, like, Resto Mines. I think. So, uh, the secret cow level, there is, um, the keys uh, around the levels. I can't remember which one we're missing, but I believe we haven't gotten this one. I'm like 90-ish, okay, 80, maybe 70, maybe 60% here. Sure. We haven't gotten this one. Let's say 50%. Everything is 50-50, right? Either it happens or it doesn't. <laughs> As two, two possible outcomes, it's 50-50. Hey, Senya, welcome to the stream. Wait, I may, maybe not starting with the boss levels is also a fine idea to just like take it slightly easy. We can do the boss level um, after. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I believe I remember where the uh, 
the the cow key thing is in this level. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe I do. Hopefully. <laughs> Else, ear probably remembers. Ear, ear is smart. Ear is smart. I I'm sure ear knows what she's doing. Well, that's awkward. Hey, so Alex, I think you're fine, right? <laughs> you said it's fine. It's fine. This is normal. That is how you play the game. In fact, you 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 have your air one, but one person just casually die like it was nothing. It's very normal. Hmm. But yeah, I think we will be doing the boss level at some point today. Because um, we are nearing the max difficulty we have unlocked. But there's still a while until we do that. We're not quite at the max level. Though. How are you doing, Cam? Uh, so and so. I've been better, but I've been worse. How about you, Senya? Are you well? I'm, I'm kind of excited to um, stream a bit. Oh my god! <laughs> Did two per people just casually die? To, 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 to falling into the pit because they got hit by a minecart. Okay. Note to self and to the rest of, of my co op partners. Careful of the minecart, they hurt. About the same? You feel very exhausted? Yeah, that's understandable. I also feel kind of exhausted. Who did you call smart again? I said you. you well, I mean, smart is really relative, isn't it? <laughs> What is my chat? <laughs> Surely not knowing you're smart is a trait of a smart person. Because like a smart person would know whether or not they were smart. So therefore by you saying uh, that she isn't smart, that in fact proves that she is. This is perfect logic, I'll take no arguments. Thank you very much. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Like one of the, re like I do know that uh, I believe the key is one of these redstone thingies. But I think it was around here somewhere, or maybe it's further in. Like, like wasn't it around here? I, I guess not. So like the key should be on one of the redstone piles. Uh, I might be a bit later into the level. So many spawners here, what the fuck? What is smart but just a word in reality? All of us are smart because smart is just a word. Are we words, chat? I'm not a word, I'll have you know. Well, I guess I'm. Is a word. Huh. As a word called I'm. This is too confusing for my poor brain. You got one hit killed? That's perfectly normal here. I think that's fine. <laughs> You're fine. What, what, being one hit kill really isn't such a problem, I feel like. Where's the evoker? I don't like the sound of evokers. Okay, it died pretty quick, so I guess it's not that terrifying. Did you charm the pig so we can't kill it? Are you serious, Alex? <laughs> the pig still ran away from us, but we just couldn't kill it because it was charmed. Okay, it was Yui, not Alex. Okay, fair. 
I I I thought you had the uh, charm amulet, but I guess you have some. The charm amulet is pretty funny, though. I will admit. Like it's a very funny artifact uh, that you can just convert your enemy allies. It's great. That's so many spawners. Holy fuck! They just never spawn. Let's like, stop. Fuck. They do. Sp Wait. They do spawn. That is kind of the point of a spawner. Um, but they never stop appearing. <laughs> I can speak chat, I swear. I'm sure you have never seen such a prolific speaker as me. Alright, I believe it must be in this room somewhere. That the key is. Actually, I think it's north from here. Like, like in the little side room. I, I think there's a decent chance that it's up there. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be in it like a in one of the rescue villager rooms. So I think it must be up here. Because it feels like a good place to have it. I guess not. There's no redstone here. Because it's I am I'm still pretty certain that it is a redstone that has the key. Like I believe the hint for this area is redstone. And like one of the like crystals. There it is, there it is. Someone found it. Nice. We got the thingy magic. Yoink. I don't remember how many thingy magics are left, but I'll assume there's a couple more. Just a couple there. We could go check, to be honest. Like, the, the, there's a place where you can check how many you have. I believe. I think there's two left. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure there's two left. Die. <laughs> hmm. It's surprisingly satisfying to just mow everything in our path down. It's very fun. Enchanted zombies, scary. Okay, they're only chilling. It could be much worse. Uh, chilling zombies. I, I, the zombies are just chilling, right? Like, just why did we have to kill them? They're just chilling there. Why are there so many creepers in here? I am not exactly a fan. It has so many spawners. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, 
now. Now it's the TNT chat. So fun fact chat, um, standing on top of TNT is generally considered a bad idea. Um, it, it, I, I, it surprised me too, I, I know, but like, a apparently it's not a good idea. Uh, okay, a giant redstone golem. That's not too bad. Ow. He just kinda, like, like, pushed me and I died. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but still. Neat. Your golem one? Your golem is cooler, I will admit. I, why would you have a redstone golem when you can have an iron golem? That sounds significantly cooler. Are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. All right, um, I'm. I know there's. I know, I'm pretty sure there's two left to unlock the um, the cow level. Cam cash you running in the corner. I like corners. Okay, they're fun. <laughs> right, anything in the merchants? Not really. Oh, another beacon. Is this one better than mine? Uh, no, it's not quite as good as mine, but it's still, like, I didn't... It makes it a bit easier to craft them and such. So, uh, next up is the Fiery Forge. I don't think we have it in this level either. And then after that, I believe the only one we're missing is the one uh, in uh, the, the, the high block halls, I believe. And once we've beaten the high block halls, found the one in there, uh, then we can also do the boss level and, and unlock a new difficulty and such. So I do remember, I believe uh, the one in this level is like right at the start. Remember clearly that one? Yeah, me too. Like it's, it's like right at the entrance. Or like right as we get inside, I think it was. I have a pretty good idea where it is. I really like this first scythe. Not only is it pretty good, it's also just like edgy as fuck. <laughs> and I love that so much. It's just something funny about having like an extremely edgy weapon, you know? I just love when it like uh, Yui just covers the entire area in person. It's really funny. 
Alright, let's go find him. Uh, I believe it's like... It's right there. Like, that's li literally a leper. It is very obvious. Oh no, I don't have multi-dash anymore. You're just so much faster. Ha, I made it too. It's fine. Multi-dash is broken. I feel like Yurish is flexing her multi-dash at me. <laughs> Kill everything. All right. I feel like it doesn't really make sense to go on all the side paths uh, for this one because like we've already explored this area once before and we already found the thing that we were looking for so I think we can just like head along without going for the side paths get to do more c content Who has a beacon? Oh, you also has a beacon now? Oh, interesting. I thought you was doing an archery build. I'm not sure what that means, Yui. <laughs> One power? I mean, you're welcome to change some bells if you want to. Nothing stopping you. Beacon is pretty good, so she's upgrading her bow. Ah, that's that's what that's what's happening. That makes sense. I mean, the the bow upgrade should be done after this level, I think. So yeah. Especially when you have a lot of soul production, the beacon gets so stupid, it's great. <laughs> Because like the more I use the beacon, the, the, the more it fuels itself by murdering things. <clears throat> oh, 
Right, in this area. I remember this. I can keep this thing like on for like so long, it's stupid. <laughs> nice. I think that's all of the ones over here. Let's go join the rest. Where's your? I can't see your corpse. Oh, she's over there. Okay. Alice got her. We. Don't think there's anything over there. So many enemies. Okay, these are enchanted. I need to be careful of those. Oh god, they have regeneration? Jesus. And you can't get close to them because of the uh, fire ore thingy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Haha, <laughs> we did it, chat. Can continue on. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Where was the exit again? Alright, it's over here. Die already? Ow. Ow. That's not good. Alright, we got this. Heal. Uh. Thanks. a bit away. I'm just very scared of these enchanters and I'm the best at dealing with them. Alright, um, alright, I think we got this. Let me just go here a bit. Thank you. Okay. Oh god, Pillarman. Pillarman are the worst. Right. 
Ah, healing. Sweet, sweet healing. These things do so much damage. They're really easy to kill, but they do a lot of damage. Okay. I think we're almost done with the level. Yeah, here's the boss. That's close. Alex first. Uh, closer. Go with Thress Yui. Almost there, almost there. Hey, we did a chat. Nameless Blade, that sounds pretty cool. What does that do? Out of curiosity, nameless blade, chance. Ooh! Ooh, this is not a soul weapon. I might go for that. Iron Golem MVP, Iron Golem is broken. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll need to look at this nameless blade um, after we're done here. Whoops. God, you is just surrounded by by walls of stone. What the actual fuck? Careful. Explosion rock. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all dying. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, Starlight, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. That's legit hilarious. <laughs> There's just so many pillars and we couldn't do anything. <laughs> Take out the pillar, man. Wherever we can. Fuck. <laughs> the new region is so fun. Uh, oh, you mean the event one? Right, right. Yeah, the event looks so cool uh, in Genshin. Um, I haven't played it yet. I was considering playing on stream, but... It depends a bit on how things look, but yeah, I'm really excited for it. It looks so cool. I'm hyped, I'm hyped. I've heard a lot of good things about her, and Klee in her witch outfit is just the most cute thing I've ever seen, ever. Like, she's just so adorable. It's fun, and all the minigames are great. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'll definitely be checking it out.
Anima Contour. Uh, you saw your grand. Small amount of health. Ooh, that is pretty good. But alternative is the. Yeah, I didn't. Don't we really use that, don't think? Uh, so that's the Nameless Blade or the Eternal Knife. As options? Nameless Blade is not actually that good. Eternal Knife. How good are you? Pain Cycle Refreshment. I, I kind of like this one better because it heals. And healing is good. Uh, you've done everything available. You normally wait until the end of the event to do it. Yeah, I get that. Uh, okay, so I believe... Why is some glowing? I don't understand. Have we been in the desert temple? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go check how many we're missing. Cause I can honestly I can't remember. But yeah, I'm uh, the event looks so cool. I'll definitely be playing it at some point. And I even I even pulled and I got Klee. And I specifically have Klee with her witch outfit. because it was too adorable not to wail for it. Uh, so I have the witch outfit for Klee. So like obviously I have to do the event. That's just how that works. Alright, we're only missing one. So that... Wait, no, we're missing two? Oh, we're probably also missing the one in the temple, I think. So that one's from the castle. Or the pinnacle or whatever. Uh, you want Cleave for her outfit? Yeah, that's the main reason I wanted it to. Like, her outfit is just too cute. You have enough Genesis crystals for it? Yeah, it's just such a cute outfit. Need one more, but like it says two. And it definitely says two. No? For bow. Ah, okay, fair. Alright, um, how do I cast a wholesome? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Actually, in that case, let's uh, let's do something quick. Just to get it over with. Uh but -da -ba -da so you don't have to suffer too long. Uh, I believe it'd be Soggy Cave. You pull for Klee too, but lost the 50 50, so now my Cocoa Fish isn't guaranteed anymore. Yeah, that sucks. I, I really hope that you uh, win the 50 50 in Cocoa Fish. Would be great. Because otherwise, that's not great. Got more than enough pulls for Kirkerfish? Fish? 381? Yeah, I think that should be enough. Uh, <laughs> to guarantee a Kirker Fish. Please worth it? Definitely, definitely. She's adorable. Just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I have enough to guarantee. Uh, I have enough to go to 50-50 for sure. All right, that's that's at least something. But can't get see. I mean, 50-50 is better than nothing. I get 50-50 isn't bad. Yeah, I hate relying on luck in uh, gacha games. Two rounds is generally why I hate gachas in general. Like, I uh, I always spend most of my life trying to avoid gachas because I hate the whole RNG aspect, but it is what it is. You want the Fontaine characters? There's a lot of Fontaine characters that I want to. So, um, so I'm, I'm also trying to save a bit for that. Farina is my favorite? Definitely same. I am almost consider like, if her uh, uh, cons are good, I might get her cons. Uh, I like when I first saw her lead character. I, I I knew that I don't care what she's doing, but 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 she's gonna be my new favorite character. That's just that's just how it's gonna work. She looks so cute. I love her design. This lamb is not pulling its weight. You want uh, Sigwin and Farina? Same. Sigwin is adorable. I am also considering putting for... Um, what's his name? Linny. But I'm not sure. Lynette too, but she's free. Yeah, I'm very happy Lynette is free. 
because I really do want Luna and I have terrible luck when it comes to uh, uh, cat girls. Genshin is probably your last gacha. Yeah, that's fair. I, I don't like gachas too much, but Genshin is just too good a game uh, to not play it, even though it is a gacha. Is generally how I feel. Lenny seems cool. He does. The problem with Lenny is, um, I like generally just don't like male characters that much. Uh, if he he was female with the exact same design, I I would play him so fast. Lenny seems cool, but you're uh, not convinced on his cat. Yeah, I mean I don't know how too much about his kit, but it does look kind of fun. Like he just creates cats that explode. I like cats that explode. Feminine kit seems cool. I don't really care much for Feminine, I will admit. I think after the three new characters, Feminine is the one that I find least interesting. This one's not worth it. People just sending me items. I have enough. <laughs> uh, how good is this one? Is that one better? Well, this one has protection though. And thorns. That is also really good. Hmm. Yeah, I like this one better, I think. For now. Is there anything I can enchant, by the way? Because I have a lot of enchantment points. Alright. There's also Navia. Yeah, Navia also looks kind of cool. I'm not too interested in her. I think I think Furina is by far the one that I'm outside for. Good to get a new Geo character. I am I am happy about about the fact that we're getting a new Geo character. We are pre pre been pretty desperately in need for Geo characters. Uh, the element has kind of been ignored. You hope Sea Queen is a four star, five star lollies are pains to get, but hey, six out of eight lollies obtained right now. Uh, yeah, I'm currently only lacking Chichi, and then I, one Sea Queen is coming out. I'm also lacking her. But yeah, I, I almost have have the full um, me and Ear Def not are, are both planning to try and do a, a, a full lolly abyss run. Furina and Nivaliat. You wanna do full lolly abyss run? Yeah, it just sounds so fun. And they're so cute. <laughs> I think but I think the character I'm most hyped for is definitely Farina and the uh, Sigwin. And honestly, I'm definitely at the point where I'll pull for Contra Farina. Because, like, like Eert has, like, massively whale for Nahida. And Eert has Nahida C2. And even has the weapon for Nahida. And I'm kind of jealous. So I'm like, I need to find my own character to whale for. And then I saw Farina and I knew I found my character. <laughs> Our free weapon, yes. I don't think I'll go for our free weapon, but I might go, uh, get the weapon for for Furina, um, because because I I I do really want to whale for Furina, so I think I want like I'm considering pulling for Lenny, but I think I want specifically because I want to whale for Furina, so I'm gonna save up as much as I can to just absolutely make sure that my my Furina is the best. C2 is good for Arkans only, yeah. Um, like, some of the best cons in the entire game are C2 Nahida and C2 uh, Raiden. So I'm thinking C2 um, Farina is probably going to be good. So therefore, like, since I really, really like Farina, I do want to save up so I can pull for C2. The funny thing about you will, my dad, you mean the farm? Eh, you spend a lot of resources on it. I'll count it. The funny thing about Nahida is you got her for your Raiden team. Played her for your Nilo team. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Bountiful Bloom is surprisingly fun. Uh, get, getting Kirkumi then probably saving for Funia. I'm not gonna pull for Kirkumi, I don't really need her. I think Eert desperately need her, because Eert is doing Bountiful Bloom, and Kirkumi is just so good for Bountiful Bloom, it's insane. Um, 
But I, I don't personally want Kirkyfish. Uh, but I, I am so incredibly uh, desperate for, for like, I just, I just want to wail for Vina. I don't know what she does. I don't care what she does. But I'll more less likely get her cons. If her C2 is as good as Nahida and Raiden, I'll, I'm getting her C2. I don't care what it takes. Get, getting her C2 is just like, it's just gonna be too OP. Um, the two teams of Wanderer and Nilo. Onfield now had a bountiful bloom, so it really needs Coco Fish. Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah. Though I'm guessing uh, Kirara, like Kirara probably also helps with bountiful bloom, giving she's, uh, she's the, one of the only Dendro slash Hydro Shielders. Like, there is no Hydro Shielders. So I'm guessing Kirara probably also helps. Kirara can help if she gets built. Well, I mean, personally I'm at the point where I'm just building random chars just to build them. Kirara bad? Well, really? I've, I've heard she was really good. Maybe we should... Like, just like slow down just a bit, Yuri. Uh, so, so let your tight, because I don't think we can do this level uh, three people. So let's just wait a minute. <laughs> and Alex, too, because Alex is also typing. Uh, Bountiful Bloom depends on the Dendro applicant. Uh, so you Bountiful Bloom with only one Dendro. Ah, right, makes sense, makes sense. No, it doesn't? It does. Uh, it. Uh, It depends on who causes the bloom. Hmm. I'm not sure whether or not that is correct, but it might be. I don't know. But if you're running uh, free Hydra, one Dendro, you should have uh, specifically one unfield Dendro. Uh, you should be have Dendro be the driver, which is probably the point of running only one Dendro, is to ensure that Dendro is the driver. Um, oh, by the way, we're looking for, uh, what's it called, uh, like, like an unlit torch, like the torches on the wall there. We're looking for one that's unlit, and I believe it's outside, but I'm not sure. Uh, you know that because your Nahida has 1000 EM, and when she doesn't cause the BB, then the Bloom deal less damage. Do you have, um, uh, is, is Nahida your only Dendro char? Yes, okay. Yeah, I don't know much. I, I don't play Boundary for Blue. Um, so, like, Yurt might, might disagree with you, but uh, you're probably correct. For me, you want a Hydro Diver, though, because you don't want to play Nahida on Phil. Nahida on Phil just seems fun. I Like, I, I've been playing Nahida quite a bit, and, like, she's so fun to on Phil. Like, she has some... I'm gonna say that Nahida has, without a doubt, the cutest attack animations in the entire game. Mom, you is trying to give you a heart attack? Yeah, I know, it's you really suicidal. <laughs> Nida on feels adorable, right? Like, she has such cute attack animations. Wait, what was you asking about, Nahida? Did I ask anything about Nahida? Oh, right, I think I asked you if Nahida was your only Dendro Char. Um, but, like, like Eert hasn't disagreed with you, so I'm gonna assume you're correct, then it's the one that triggers the element. But if you're doing the Dendro Driver, then it is the Dendro Char that matters. So, like, what, 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 did, what you two have said regarding... Who, uh, which EM matters is not contradictory so far. So I'm gonna assume you're both correct. 
until I've been correct then. Alright, that's the key. Now, come back here, kitty. I haven't seen the torch yet, so... Unless that's it. No, that's not it. That's a statue. But yeah, Bountiful Bloom seems really fun, but unfortunately I didn't manage to pull uh, Neither. I did get Nahida, but I didn't manage to get ne Neither. But I, I'm still enjoying my Nahida part, it seems. And lately I've just been in like, w uh, starting to, um, like whenever I do my daily resin farm and such, I just, uh, like me and Ear do, do it together and we just pick random characters that we have built. So we, we just started to build up more and more characters so we have more variety in our daily farm. You might have misunderstood. That's very easy for you to do. Uh, like, misunderstood what? I'm confused. Alright, I think the torch is outside. I'm not entirely sure, but if you see a uh, unlit torch, click on it. I'm 90% sure it has to be an unlit one though. Uh, anyway, you're farming Flower Paradise Lost for Nilu? I didn't know she, she used par Flower Paradise Lost. I thought she wanted to stack HP as much as possible. Why is this stupid torch? Uh, but yeah, we can roll dice and play, play the character that drop uh, on said dice for the farm. And create super random themes and makes a farm kind of fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Just playing random characters and like con constantly changing characters. But to do that, you need a lot of bold characters. So I'm just starting to build like every character I, I have that I like. Um, like one by one, just n have a ton of bold characters. For Kogami, uh, for your new team. Ah, I thought Kogami wanted to build HP too, though. Oh, there, I found it. That's that's an unlit torch. You got no EM main stat piece yet? Oof. Farming EM pieces is such a pain. Because they're so rare. Like, if you want full EM, it's, it's just hell. It takes like half a year. I swear. <laughs> Alright, we, we got everything we came here for, so we can just head to the exit. Open the door. Fully aim as a pain? Definitely. That's a lot of shafts. All of the shafts. Mm, you're building her as the driver? Fair enough. Healer fish. <laughs> Kirka fish is, is a great healer. Uh, I don't personally need her, but but she does seem very, very, very good. And very useful for a lot of teams. Uh, that's not good. Do we wipe here? I think we wipe here. Where is Yui? Oh, she's over there.
we we somehow didn't wipe, and I have no idea how. Uh, but that's good. I like not wiping. Uh, we're missing one table. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. We're hoping she only gets better in Fontaine? Why so? Uh, why would you, you know, she specifically be getting better in Fontaine? Isn't she already really good? A lot of characters have HP missing kits, so maybe she will? Yeah, but like, why her specifically? I'm a bit confused. Alright, we are live. So far, Fatane seems to like making his, uh, all old characters worse. Is that so? I mean, we don't know too much, uh, like... I guess we're still in early leaks phases and such. Hydro healer? Yeah, but still. You if... <laughs> Maybe wait a bit. <laughs> Some bosses need Newman or Weezer. I suppose that makes sense, but I guess that's kind of like how um, bosses in... Uh, what's it called? In Sumer needed Dendro. Like, Dendro became so important. You didn't don't get Numa and Weezer. I, I'm very confused about the whole Numa and Weezer mechanic. Like, I don't really understand what it does specifically. But some of you mean all? I see. I'm still very confused what the Nusa and Weezer mechanic. Uh, uh, Weezer. Oh, wait. Numa and Weezer. I'm very confused what it, like, actually is and does, and I don't really get it. But I'll probably get it once we get a bit closer and it gets a bit clearer. I mean, do they ha then have to give us a character each, right? They do. Um, they're giving us, like, I believe um, the, the Hydro Traveler will be one. And then they're giving us Lynette for free, which will be the other one. I, I think I think Lynette is uh, Weeza and um, Hydro Traveler is Numa. So so you do get one of each for free. That also actually means this is uh, the first time we're getting a non-traveler animal char for free. Uh, permanently. Like, I know Sucros, obviously, but, but, like, we, we like, oh, sorry, not Sucros. Uh, we didn't get a Sucros. We, we got a, wait, what's the name? We did get an animal shaft for free. I forgot her name, because I'm stupid, but yeah. But we did get an animal shaft for free, but, but not on permanently. And I remember when I started out, and, and I was just like, I really wanted to use a different traveler, but I needed an animal element, and I hadn't pulled any animal chair. Charles. So I was forced into using Animal Traveler because I didn't want to go back to, to get the Animal every single time. It was too much of a pain. So I'm very excited about the fact that we now get a free Animal Charm. So when you're saying with Kogami is that a lot of characters... Just a sec, I, n I need to focus it a little bit here. Uh, I, I, I can't focus on reading and uh, <laughs> processing Genshin content right now. Alright, so when you're saying with Kogami is that a lot of characters take their own HP away for buffs. As part of that kit. So having a Hydro Healer and Applicator that can work 
from our field. I suppose, I suppose. We'll see. But like, we don't really know like what everything does yet, so... And it's still too early for like a lot of things. Except for the, the, the three chars in 4.0, I don't think any of the leaks are confirmed. Wow, that's not good. Ooh, convenient level up timing. Haha! -ha! Finally! We're done, we're free! The Arch Illager escaped to the ramparts. Press on, hero. You mustn't let him get away. Except if it changed the concept made better. Everything we know is permanent. Does that include cats? Because I I was under the impression that the only uh, character cats that was in the beta um, was the three characters in 4.0. But is that incorrect? Oh, I think that was the last one. I think we've unlocked the... Uh, It's correct. Okay, so we don't know kits. I think we unlocked it, so I believe we go in here. Anyone else don't want to join? Wait, Yui. Yui, wait! Alex, you don't want to come? Alex, uh, you have to go from up here. Oh, I guess you can do that. That works too. I feel like it's more fun if you're all here. When we uh, unlock the secret cow level. Mwahahaha. We are missing one. I knew it. You bastards. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I was correct. We are missing the desert temple. Oh no, are there three cats and a leak of Arena's cat from 3.6? Yeah, the leak of Arena's cat, I, I'm not convinced is accurate necessarily. But we'll see. Alright, so the uh, key, uh, the door is supposed to be near Golden Key, and since all Golden Keys are required, I believe, uh, we can basically just ignore side paths and just go straight to the exit, I think. Because, um, like, if it's supposed to be near a required area, then it's fine. That's a lot of enemies. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. But yeah. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy playing Minecraft Dungeons. Because that is also pretty fun. We. <laughs> oh god, not more traps, no! The traps are like annoying in a way where they're like. They're not that scary. But if you die to them, then you feel really bad. <laughs> Alright, that's a key over here somewhere. Alright, I think, like, this is a good uh, potential area that it could be. Because uh, this is like a key room, you know? So, just, there's a lever over there. 
Haha! That's probably it. Nice! I believe this is the final one and then we unlock the secret cow level. Remember the one time you said the plant? Yeah, we found the plant. <laughs> Step at that, came here and made, made the entire uh, cover Genshin for half an hour. It's fine, I get it. I, I too get um, hyper fixated easily. <laughs> Did none of us bring the key? I swear to god, mourns all of us. None of us fought to check where the key was. Do we even need to continue? I don't actually think so. Should we just leave? Go back to camp? I, I think we just can. Let's do that, yeah. Go back to camp. <laughs> Alright, so now we should have it online. Probably. Uh, what are you going to do after the super secret card level? I don't know. Uh, probably we're going to do the final boss again to unlock higher difficulties, and then we're probably going to do DLC content. Is what makes most sense to me. We've unlocked a new mission chat. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The cow. <laughs> I remember this level being really cool. Traveling to question mark, question mark, question mark. I the the fact that this level exists by the way is just such a funny meme I love it <laughs> cuz all right so very quickly if you don't know there's an old meme in this like uh, style of game because what did someone die we haven't even started the level yet how does someone die already? These guys have no patience, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you underestimate the, the, the mushroom cows? Because they're terrifying. Alright, so, what I was saying is, um, I believe it's in Diablo 2. There was like a, a super rare, super secret level called the secret cow level. Which was a bunch of like cow miniature people or whatever. It was like a super terrifying area. But it's like kind of a meme. And since this game is inspired by yet Diablo in some ways, they, they added this. And I feel like it's such a cute little reference. Um, and a good way to use the mushroom biome. Alright, let's go this way. I don't think we... Wait, no, that's the correct way. Let's go this way. I'm stupid. I wanna go down the side paths. Jesus Christ. That is a lot of lightning. Is that TNT? Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, but don't underestimate the, the mushrooms. The mushrooms do do quite a lot of damage, so be careful. They're not just harmless cows in this game. <laughs> Which honestly makes it funnier.
Okay, um... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of mushrooms. Here is that Alex is taking a moment. Okay, he's coming. We got this chat. Oh, whoops, that was not what I intended to do. Uh, I'm fine. No problem, I got this. But yeah, this is such a cool level, and it's a good actually. It's actually a really good farming area. It gets like a ton of XP uh, and such. If you remember right. And has some pretty cool drops as well and everything. So, uh, I think we're fine. So continue. Hills, my greatest enemy. I can't shoot the beacon at an angle. So like, when the enemies are up hills, I can't do anything with the beacon. <laughs> it's so stupid. Same with the downhill, actually. Whoops. Has so many of them. It's hilarious. I don't know why I find this level so funny, but I do. Well, I do know why, because there's just an army of mushrooms coming to attack us. It's hilarious, objectively. Whoops. I'm bad at that. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, let someone else deal with those. So this is the way we're supposed to be going, I think? Or not supposed to be going, there by being the correct way, because we don't want to go the right way. Yeah! <laughs> I'm making sense, chat. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Yes, burn the cows.
Whoops. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da. Okay, I think that's all of them over here. Now you can continue the other way. This level is pretty big. Um, Alright, can we can we get the emeralds? Fuck. I'm bad at that. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I swear to god. Alright, I can do this one. Aha! I got it. Good job, ass. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cows. <laughs> the fucking moose. I don't know why, but like, they just. The moose, they're just so funny. You going to go to sleep now? Alright. Have a good night, Starlight. Make sure to get some nice rest. I'm moosing. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. <laughs> I'm got if if you remember I'll nominate that. <laughs> That's great. Hmm. <gasps> Boss fight. New objective. Moo. Oh, by the way, this boss is terrifying. Just you know. Summoning more mushrooms? That's fine. You can summon more mushrooms. I don't care. Uh, I'm out of soul. That's not good. Oh, thank you for the hydrates, Zinnia. I'll make sure to do that. It is very hard to drink while playing a game like this, <laughs> but I did it. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Oh god, it's shooting missiles. Those hurt. Why Why is the giant m mushroom monstrosity shooting missiles? We did it! Woo! Go us! Ooh, a firebolt for And enchanted grass. Enchanted grass I remember being pretty cool. I believe it summons colored sheep. 
Yeah, that's a fun level. It's a fun level. And it's also a really pretty level. You're just standing still the whole time waiting because everyone took the arrows? Ah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, I think we're ready. Let's... Stay still because that's all we need to do. That's fair. <laughs> hmm... That seems pretty good. But I like my soul weapon. Could be better. Okay. Uh, for now... Are you ready, chat? I think we're ready. For, um, or may maybe not level 7, but level 6 we could. No problem. The final boss. I, I, I think we can take him. Wait, what is this? Pulls enemies plus one soul gathering. That does actually seem a lot better than what I have. Huh. Just very quickly fill. Pull one in here. Let's explode after the defeater. On enchanting. Void strike. After her, after her target applies the damage multiplier, it rises steadily. Okay, that's good. And I think I like chain reaction. Final boss time chat. Woo! What could possibly go wrong? I mean, this time we're a lot stronger than last time we tried to do this, so... We'll probably be fine. Speed. <laughs> Correction, you did not upgrade anything and feel very useless. Ah, uh, in that case, mm, how about this? Because, uh, because maybe, yeah, okay. We're going back to camp and, um, Yeah, let's go back to camp. Uh, let's do a quick round of upgrading before this. Let's be smart about this. Can you join? Uh, unfortunately not. There's a cap of four people. So this is not an open lobby. Um, but yeah, so let's do a quick round of upgrading. And... And that should be good. All right. Do I want to upgrade anything? Let's check. My, my things are pretty good levels overall, but I would like some like minor upgrades here and there. I guess my armor could be better. Oh, actually my weapon too. That's the highest level weapon I have. 65-ish? 66? Yeah, let's upgrade this one. Mm. You already have things of blacksmith? Ah, okay, fair. Uh, we'll do extra rounds, it's fine. We'll, we'll do as many as needed. Uh, 67 is the highest here. Because I could also use some upgrades. Um, get to a lot of things, actually. 66, 65. I think it's the highest. Yeah, looks highest. Yeah, otherwise weapon burn armor are level 52 and 53. Okay, yeah, we, we desperately need a round of upgrading. I'm gonna upgrade... And we're gonna upgrade some artifacts first, I think. Okay. 
So, we'll do upgrading until everyone is done. And, yeah. Might need adventure. Uh, we are playing on adventure anyways. That's fine. Uh, adventure 2 is pretty easy. So, I, I think uh, per default, I'm always going to do adventure 2 from now on. Just like as a default rule. But like Adventure 2 is not difficult for us anymore. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> of course, uh, I, I, I'm smart, uh, as usual, as ex completely expected, but... <laughs> They got it. Okay, maybe they don't got it. <laughs> okay, now they are. I'm just impatient. Yeah, I can't be the other <laughs> speed. How many runs uh, do all of you well need done. to get up to a point where you feel s satisfied with your upgrades? I ha just so I have a rough idea of how many I can get away with upgrading? I think two sets. Okay. I think Eert is the one that needs the most upgrading, so I'm gonna let Eert pick how many runs she needs. Uh, tell us that, and then I'm gonna s base my upgrades off of that. And then if someone needs more than ear, just say so. But I believe ear is probably one that needs the most. <sighs> probably six runs starting now, mega of nine, but probably six fine, so two rounds. Okay. That's fine. Works for me. Alright, let's go. And after we're done upgrading, we'll go do the final boss again. And we should be fine. Actually, I... Huh. 
could be interesting. Uh, but not right now. Whoops. Just gonna check here, that's okay. Uh, it feels weird to not lose a third of your SP on a taking hit. Even in Adventure 2, by using a random set. Yeah, I can relate to that. I definitely know that feeling. I have an idea, by the way. Eared, are you wearing uh, currently your highest level items? Okay, what is your uh, lowest lowest level of your highest level items? Sixty-one weapon. I'm gonna uh, gift you a random weapon. And if you could give me back a, I think my lowest level is an artifact. So if you could give me a random artifact, then then that way it's like a, a pseudo upgrade. And since it's just a random shitty one, doesn't matter. Does that make sense? And if we do, uh, we can do one gift every single run. So if you just keep doing that, we it will like slowly increase our level. Uh, as we go, um, and Yui and Alex can do the same. Does that make sense? I have no idea if it wor it's worth it, but like it's a random idea I have. Alternatively, you can also just buy from Merchant, that would also work. But I just felt like it was a good idea. And step the same thing good here. Oh god, that is probably good. 50% soul gather. It doesn't have a soul ability. Thank you. Uh, I'll give you a weapon. And uh, in return. Ba -da -da -da. You can have just a random sword. That one. Was it higher than? This one is definitely higher than the one I had, so that's good. Back of soul, plus one straw gathering. Extra strolls. Type suggestion. That is. I don't do any poison damage. The blast occurs every three seconds, so it pulls in enemies nearby. That's not quite as good as the one I have, I think. Not sure, I'm gonna pick later. But it's higher level, that's what matters. But yeah, just buying items that are higher level than your current ones is definitely also worth it. To so just like slowly increase your levels. So I definitely all of you consider just doing that. Just like slowly get things higher. Oh, 
Also, oh, did it work here? What was the weapon I gave you better than your old one? Because I don't actually see what what level the weapon you got was. Sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, obviously um, you and Alex can do the same thing if they want to, to uh, boost everyone's items. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I, I keep failing that jump, I'm just not gonna bother. Just gonna wait over here. My curious lowest one is... Oh, actually, my curious lowest one is weapon now. We're voting 66. Artifacts. Okay, I'll give you a random artifact. Are you not done? Hello? Are you- uh, Please tell me you're not just clicking randomly. Well, <laughs> I guess that answers that. <laughs> In your defense, we haven't done this one in ages, that's fair. I mean, to be fair, on the very first run we did this, I, s I already had memorized how to solve it. Mainly because I did it so many times from my, like, the first time me and Eon played this game together. Well done. But you, uh, you'd you only run this by yourself, like, three times, and you didn't remember the pattern. That's fair. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Alright, here you can have another effect. Nice. 69. That is way better. Um, same thing we do over here. No one's this better. Might as well. Ah. Yeah, these. 72. Not bad. 72. Not bad. That is significant upgrades. Uh, now comes a question. Do I like this one or do I like this one better? Hmm. Alright, let's just check. What 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 do we have of um, items that we want to upgrade? It's probably these three. Let's get... Do I wanna want this one though? I think I do. So. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, that needs to start on. Da -da 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 -da. Is there any of this that's better than what I have? Not really, I'm gonna shake down a merchant too. Might as well. 69. I mean, it is better. No, it's not. It's not better. It's the same. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep this one. It's a pretty shitty weapon. This merchant has pretty worthless items, huh? Uh. The age-old questions, do I want to roll the random items from the mystery merchant? <laughs> it's kind of fun to roll, well, the, like, there's no real items that I'm trying to get, so there's no real point, I suppose. Achievement unlocked. Chill out. Nice. <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? How did you die, Yui? I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Can't find anyone. Why is no one spawning over here? They usually love spawning over here. Okay, that's some here. I can I can find these guys. We didn't get a single summon over there? What the fuck? I usually get so many and they're usually so annoying. <laughs> but it's just none. Alright. Fair enough. Guess I'll just contribute nothing then. <laughs> Anything good? I mean, that one's pretty high, but like, oh, we have to be high. Um. Yeah, do you want anything? That's better. Artifacts? Okay, I'll give you an artifact too. Uh, uh, I, sorry, what I meant to say is I also would like an artifact, if possible. Uh, you can have the grass. Just got the got armor you, you want to upgrade. Oof, pain. Uh, how many left of your current uh, blacksmith, Alex? Two. Okay. Um. Shall we do another? Does anyone mind if we do another run so Alice can upgrade his armor? Okay, I personally wouldn't mind too much. Okay, can upgrade as we play, it's fine. Okay, fair. 
But we definitely do need to do the last two so everyone can uh, get their current upgrades. Ancient Hunt, what the fuck? Who, who requested an Ancient Hunt? Okay, I'm not gonna comment on it. You <laughs> what the fuck indeed? Sucky cave. What even is ancient heart? Um, hard to explain. But it's pretty cool. We'll definitely do some one day. I just want to do some other things first. But one day we should definitely do it. But I believe ancient heart is how you unlock gold. You don't have the money for further upgrades. Only doing bow. Oh. Oh fun, um, I guess is this is why you don't just buy random things to get higher level gear, huh? You run out of money. But did you upgrade enough that you're satisfied, or would you like to um, get the last uh, upgrade too? Or like one more upgrade or something? To be honest, I kind of forgot that it even costs money to upgrade stuff. Archilogy's potion supply is no more, and it will be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. So I don't know n n mind doing more than that if you need to, yeah. And we do as many as people want to. It's about break time after this, right? True, true. We now need to take a break. Uh, it's a pretty cool one. I, I like my own weapon better. Um, so the question is, do, do, do I, we can quickly finish the upgrades be before taking a break. I think that's fine. So how many runs do we need? I think you needs two to three maybe, if you can afford the upgrade now. Oops, that was an accident. Ignore. I 
fireworks! <laughs> That's great. For now, three. Okay, three more. We can do three more. You'll see after. Okay. And we'll take a break once we're done upgrading, um, and then we'll do the boss after the break. Sounds pretty good. I love how fast this one is. It's so good. <laughs> They got it. They don't need my help. Ocean supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. <laughs> All right, two more. Oh, by the way, yeah, if if you want me to give more things to you, just say. Uh, I don't think I personally need it, so. Pretty happy with the things I have. I feel like there's a high enough level for everything. 70 to 73. It's a big range. Damn it. Oof, unlucky. Oh well, still pretty good. Overall. Let's -a go. Oh wait, actually, I, I should probably put something back in it. I'm stupid. Uh, let me just check quickly which I want to. 
I'm just gonna put in a random uh, some random artifacts because I don't mind if we don't do an extra for those. So artifacts I want to put in just this one. A random beacon, preferably rare, because I like having rare items for no particular reason. Wait, why can't I find it? I'm pretty sure I have one. Oh, I don't. Okay. Fair enough. Just this one then. Two more and then we'll take a break. Oh, unless you get once more than that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right. Uh, the best part of, about this farm is like just how OP you feel uh, bullying Uyghur mobs and like just going through all of those. It's really funny. I know it doesn't actually mean we're strong. It's just we're over level compared to this level. Um, and things our level are still a struggle, but it's just really funny to me. It's not gonna spawn anything here again, I'm not gonna be using it. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here. Cause from here I can kinda shoot once to spawn down there. Which is helpful. Okay, this is the quick one. Good. Random illager. Okay. Uh, it feels nice to have the scythe back. It's, the scythe is pretty fun to use. Alright. 
<laughs> this one is the one with the um, slightly longer puzzle, but that's fine. By slightly longer, I do mean slightly. <laughs> What? There. Ba da ba da ba dum. Good job, us. Ooh, soul fist. That sounds cool. Soul critical boost plus two, but the enchant is awful. Fair enough. The Arch Energy's potion supply is no more, Hi. and it will be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. So, did you want more? Or are you satisfied here? And, and and also the rest of you, I suppose. That's kind of lewd. What was kind of lewd? What did I do? You good? Okay, that's good. Get your mind out of the gutter, Senya. You satisfied or did you want more? Senya, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> but we'll see if he wants more. I don't mind if she does. Thinks I'm good. Okay, let's take a break now. Uh, let me just turn off the sound and put on some music instead. Let's go for that one. Okay. And I will see you all in 15 minutes. Bye! <laughs>
Hello! Welcome back to the stream, everyone! Break is officially over! Woo! <laughs> I hope you had a nice break, got everything done you need to. Um, yeah, yeah, I had a good break. I managed to get something to drink um, and everything all, so it was nice. So, uh, but I've done.
There we are, and... So, I believe what we... Why is Eared's pet just casually beating up the straw man for no reason? <laughs> but yeah, so... I forgot to re-equip my items, so I'm quickly gonna do that. Uh, wait, is this one better? Nah, I like this one better. And this one? It's not the greatest of enchants. I guess this one doesn't need it, right? Ah. So, um... What was it doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, right, yes. Uh, I need to equip my artifacts, because I forgot to do that during the break. That would have been what a smart person would do. We would quickly go through, equip all the artifacts, figure that out. Uh, but unfortunately for everyone, uh, I am not a smart person, so I'll have to quickly do it now. But yeah, I believe we're ready to take on the Obsidian Pinnacle. You got hot dogs as food? Hot dogs are delicious. That means you're smart, hooray! <laughs> Fair. Get one piece. Hot dogs are great, yeah. I want hot dogs. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you like? Them? All kinds of things. Alright, very quickly. Um, is it like a vertical hot dog or like a horizontal hot dog? Because I, I, I know in Denmark we have both, but I'm not sure what you have in other countries, so... And we have two different styles of hot dogs in Denmark. And I wouldn't know which is which. Aren't we missing someone? Oh no, he's just fused with Yui. You're thinking of corn dogs. I'm not thinking of corn dogs. I'll show you a picture in just a moment. Uh, once I'm not dying. Because I am most certainly not. Uh... Okay. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I've been a good girl, don't kill me, please. <laughs> yeah, it remind me later to, to show you a picture of, of a vertical hot dog. Mm. Alright, uh, I, I can do that now. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. This thing in Danish is called a Franz cut dog, or directly translated. Never mind, I can't do that now. Where did all the enemies come from? I thought we had a break. <laughs> Alright, uh, give me a moment. I'll show you in a moment. <laughs> Looks like a corn dog. How is that a corn dog? What the fuck? So, it's bread, and inside it is, uh, is a sausage. How is that a corn dog? Isn't corn dog isn't a sausage, right? Corn dog. Yeah, that's not a corn dog. That's completely different. This is it's exactly the same as a classic hot dog, uh, except that it's the bread is a different style. That's literally the only difference. It, 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 so it's not a corn dog. It has nothing to do with a corn dog. He never saw something like. I don't understand why we call it a French hot dog, but that is what they're called. They're called French hot dogs. So we have two styles of hot dogs. We have this one, which I assume is like the classic style, and we have this one where it's like more vertical. Uh, so you you put in your sauce into the bread, and then you put in the sauce to that part. Um, and I have no idea why we call it a French hot dog because I've never met a French person to know what they are. It's very tasty, actually. I personally prefer the more classic hot dogs. The interesting thing is, uh, the more classic hot dogs we don't have a name for. So we, those we, we usually just call hot dogs. In the French one, we specifically call French hot dogs. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's like too much work. What do you mean it's too much work? It's, it's easier to eat. It makes much less of a mess than a traditional hot dog. Because it doesn't like slide out or anything, you just eat it from the top down like an ice cream. Shouldn't 
too much work. What the fuck? But you cannot put that much stuff in it? You can't. You usually only put one sauce in it. Yeah, you have to put the sauce in first. And you usually only pick one sauce to put in it. Unlike a traditional hot dog where you just stuff like multiple things on top of it. Don't like uh, salsa, so it'd be easy to eat for me otherwise. Who eats a hot dog without any sauces? What the fuck? <laughs> is, there, is there no sauce you like here? None? Huh. Not. I, I don't think I've ever met a person who doesn't like ketchup. Interesting. I wonder, I'm kind of curious like what kind of sauces are like unique to each country because I know in uh, You react fairly negatively to most things you eat that isn't solid. Ah, that makes sense But yeah, so like I, I feel like mo most countries might have more unique sauces So like in Denmark for example, I know we have a thing called Demolel, which I believe is very specific to Denmark And I'm getting a uh, French hot dog dressing uh, it's probably also Danish, considering none of you know what a French hot dog is, so... I would be very surprised if you had French hot dog dressing. Um, so I'm wondering if like there's more of those kinds of things. I'm assuming ma mayonnaise, ketchup and senap is pretty universal. French because it's lewd. I don't see French um, as being particularly good. Senap. Wait, you don't have Senap. Oh, right, it's called Mustard. Right, I forgot. You do have it, it's just called Mustard in English. Uh, in Danish, we call it Senap. And, and I, I'm used to food not being translated, so I forgot it was called something else. So yeah, that's a thing. I don't really like mustard, I, I must admit. Um, I don't like mayonnaise either, so... <laughs> God damn it, you too. <laughs> But yeah, I would assume, assume ketchup, mayonnaise, and uh, mustard is, is um, pretty universal. I'm not sure if there's like more like classic sauces that are like super universal. Maybe like barbecue sauce? I guess it's probably also pretty universal. Relish? I've never heard of relish in my life. What is relish? Is that also like a source? Pickles. Pickles is not a source. That's it. That's dice. Wait, wait, wait. Relish is that like a like a like similar to ketchup? Is based on tomatoes. Relish is based on pickles. Is that what you're saying? Basically, finely diced pickles. So, so, so it's kind of like yeah. But we don't have that here. Uh, at least I don't know of it. Would you have pickles though? Not like ketchup? Then, then I'm confused. I mean, we have pickles, but I have never heard of anything like. Like a pickle based sauce, like finely diced pickles, or anything like that. Look at that. Well, I'm, I mean, that's kind of like a uh, whetstone golem uh, I should probably kill first. Rude, killing Yuri like that. Ah, 
Alright, relish. What what is relish? Uh, relish. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anything like that. It looks disgusting, I must admit. No offense. And I know you shouldn't judge on the looks, but it, it looks disgusting. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, there's just a lot of food. Sweet relish is an abomination? Huh. It's so bad. I don't know, I've never tasted it. I would imagine it would be though. The reddish is fine, okay. Think pickles but sweet. But it... Pickles are not supposed to be sweet. Any sweet sauce is an abomination. Uh, I do prefer sweet mustard over strong mustard. Uh, at least it's, when I it's not actually sweet uh, I don't know what to call it but they, like we have two types of mustard in Denmark and I can't remember what they're called uh, and there's only one of them I like and the strong one is not the one I like uh, I, I but that's just because I don't like mustard so this is fine. We're doing fine. Nice! Well, that was scary. You want to feel the burn? That's fair. I just don't like mustard. <laughs> But like, I am kind of curious, like, in general, about different countries' cuisines. Because a lot of things that um, you assume is just, like, everyone knows what this thing is. Because, like, everyone in your country knows what it is. But they don't eat it anywhere else. Imagine you know a lot of US foods. Um, I mean, I still tend to get surprised, and generally, whenever I learn of new US food, it, it, it tends to be rather disgusting, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the reason why we don't have that. Uh, it's my general experience. Like, I'm rarely surprised why it didn't get ported over. <laughs> Taco pizza? Why? <laughs> US food is extremely rare out of US. Yeah, except for like the, the like the classic stuff, you know? But yeah. Interesting. Um, like the one example of things that like stresses me a lot that you can't get anywhere outside of Denmark is a specific soda called Faxicondi. And it's my favorite soda and it's great. Uh, but like it's just nowhere else and it, it's just like no one knows what it is and, and I can't buy it anywhere else if I'm out of the country <laughs> Like I, I lived in England for a year and I, I, I at some point I was just okay You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ship like a huge box of Faxicondi because because I screw this <laughs> What classic that is actually from the US? Uh, that's actually a good question. That the pet like a lot, a lot of the things I'm not like, sure where I'm from. You can find your Tex Mex out of your cold dead hands. Tex Mex is pretty good. Uh, if I f if it is what I think it is, damn it. Tex Mex is not from the U.S. It's Mexican. Well, I mean, it's specifically Texan Mexican, right? So like, it, it, it's it's Mexican food made in. In Texas, I think. So, like, it's an appropriation of Mexican food. 
but it's like it's similar to how a taco, uh, as we know it, is nothing like um, like a taco in Mexico. Like it's a very very different thing, apparently. You won't find a lot of sex mix food in Mexico. Yeah, because because Mexican food is very different from what the the rest of the West consider Mexican food. It's similar to how uh, Italians all, uh, will almost get offended at, at what uh, Northern European and Americans call pizza, because um, the type of pizza that they eat in Italy is very very different from what they eat in the Northern Europe and in uh, the US. That's the one country you win is not outside of your own. That's fair. The convenient thing about living in Europe is it's much easier to travel. You eat a different kind of pizza or not? Uh, I think so. So, like, what I usually hear is that um, the pizza in Italy tends to be a lot thinner and with much less toppings than the pizza uh, that you tend to get more north and that you get in the US. It tends to be a little more, lot more thicker and with more toppings. Um, Also in the U.S., pepperoni. Uh, sorry, not in, in Italy. Pepperoni, uh, I believe, means pe uh, uh, bell pepper, uh, which is hella confusing. I I, I have uh, been to Italy once, and I remember I was quite young, and we ordered a pepperoni pizza, and um, and then I spent like five minutes taking off the bell peppers because I didn't like bell peppers at the time. <laughs> You fought us only in the US. No, Northern Europe does too. Uh, I would assume French was the same, but I guess that's like a south north divide in France. But I believe Germany and uh, Denmark and like West Scandinavia and the UK and such, you, you tend to get a bit figure. Not deep pan thick, but like a bit figure, you know? Like deep pan is a whole different beast. We, you can get deep pans in, uh, in Denmark, but they're not that common. Deep dish? Isn't it called deep pan? I, I, let me look that up. Deep pan is like really stupidly thick. Uh, hence, it, the pan is deep. That's not a pizza. A uh, deep pan pizza, I would argue, is pizza. I, I hate it. I don't like deep pan pizza. But I'm pretty sure it is indeed a pizza. Even if I don't like it personally. Like they're sold at a pizzeria, they're made in the same way as a pizza. Just with a fig across. Almost lasagna? Not really. It is, it's kind of nothing like a lasagna, it's much closer to a pizza. The crust is similar to a pizza, the, the toppings are similar to a pizza. I, I would argue it's a pizza. Even if it's a bad pizza, it's still a pizza. It's just a bad one. <laughs> Italians are crying? Definitely. Uh, so again, what, what I was saying was uh, Northern Europe tends to have bigger pizza than Italians. And, and stuff in Europe. France looks exactly the same as this way. Okay, that makes sense. Is that specifically stuff in France, or is that also counting North of France? But uh, at least, I, I, I must admit, I don't know too much about it. I just hear that p pizza in the North um, and pizza in the South is very different. All offense, fair enough. You only know the thin ones too? I think you're getting, getting confused what I mean. Because uh, the pizza that you get in Denmark is also thin. Like, like it's not a deep pan fake at all. They're pretty thin. It should, I just remember hearing once that, that um, Italians get offended by, by the kind of pizza you eat in Northern Europe. And I don't remember exactly why. We just change out of the foods, we don't make a lot of our own. Yeah, that's true.
What is this? That looks terrifying. Compra? I don't know what Compra is. Oh, you thought you had to do uh, with thickness. Well, I mean, I, I I believe the Northern New York Pizza is slightly thicker, but like not by noticeable amount. For instance, right next to it, so that's fair. But I do know in Germany that their pizza is very similar to um, to the ones you have in Denmark. So I would have assumed that it was the same in. Uh, Wait, where, where is Sydney from again? I, I want to say Switzerland, but, I, uh, but now I'm doubting myself. Sydney, I'm so sorry. Please do correct me if I remember what, wrong where you're from. Damn it. That's not good. And you is distracted. <laughs> I don't think you can beat Nose. I think I have to lightning Nose from afar to like get rid of the uh, Enchanter. Okay, the Enchanter's dead. That makes it a bit easy. But can, I can still like pick them off. You fell off? Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and lightning them from far. So like the lessen their numbers. So we don't die as hard. I love the lightning rod, it's 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 super useful. you ah you wasn't distracted, you fell off. Okay, makes sense. The lightning rod is great, yeah. The fact that you can just pick off enemies from afar is so useful. Alright, okay. We can do this, we can do this, we're fine. These things hurt so much. I really need to be more careful of the like bigger ones because they are terrifying, and and I really do underestimate them <laughs> like a moron. But hey, it's fine. Killing and double damage, that's scary. Stay away from those. Double damage is not something you want to mess with. On an already pretty strong enemy. Ow. Now there's one still alive. <laughs> Healing. Alright chat, are you ready? You're Swiss. Okay, good. I remember right. Boss fight time. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? I have no soul, I just noticed. I forgot to save up soul. That's bad. <laughs> We'll just have to- okay, that's good. He's giving me more soul, conveniently. That I can save up for the actual bus. Not much, but a bit. It's a good amount.
Did he just spawn a redstone golem? What the fuck? Oh god, it's not despawning. I, I was I, I was expecting it to despawn. It's not. Um, that's bad. Okay, so I think uh, I think the boss won't spawn until we kill this redstone golem, so we can take our time and like only kill it when we need to. Uh, careful, you don't waste too many arrows, you. Eh? We we want to save stuff for the boss as well, because there's a very big boss after this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand over here next to Alex. Thank you. Almost. Don't want to waste all my solo. Peace. Oh, good. Why is it? Okay, there it is. It has arrived. Now, alright, we only have two revives, so we need to be careful. Uh, preferably dealing at least a third to him, and uh, try not to die, because dying is bad. <laughs> but then again, not dying is hard. Okay, uh, that's not a good start. Um, but it's so we'll figure it out. Oh Jesus Christ! That laser spawned right on me. <laughs> good, good. Yet is yet is MVP. Yet is MVP. Never mind. Oh god, night. All right, Yui, you can do it. Yui, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, uh, no one die. Actually, don't go, don't go, don't go. Hold back, wait, 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 never mind. Too late. Oh, okay, not too late. All right, before we go, I'm gonna change artifacts very, very quickly because I have no souls, so my artifacts are virtually useless. Um, so give me just like a very brief second to like quickly see what else I can find. So I'm less useless. Uh, what else will be good? Uh, how about a summon? Sure. Okay, let's go. That's slightly better. Yeah, you ready? Okay. No, 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 no. Fuck. Don't underestimate the lasers, please. <laughs> Never underestimate the lasers. Is that laser on me? That's not. Okay, good. Okay, you're going much better, going much better. Fuck. Got stuck in a corner. How bad? I'm, gu I'm guessing Yui and uh, Slag is really bad, because it seems Yui can't really see the laser. Uh, or the spinny laser. And I know Yui and Alex has a lot of ping, so I guess that makes sense. Oh god, no, that's bad, that's bad. 
All right, the shield is actually really good. The shield totem. It seems to block the lasers somewhat. Uh, so we should definitely abuse this heal totem. Never mind. All right. So note to self. It does block. Yeah, the shield totem is really, really good. So, kept spawning enemies while you try to reverse. Yeah, this uh, knight was hurting us. So, nothing we can do about that. That's fine though. We did pretty good, honestly. Wanna try again? Or was that too much of a pain? And then you couldn't hit the button fast enough? Yeah, I get it. It's fine. You call that good? I mean, the last one went decently. Admittedly. <laughs> Wanna try again? <laughs> I, and I haven't made a mental note. I'm gonna save all of my soul for the boss so I can just try and like beacon half of its health. Uh, so I'm gonna try and be max soul for the boss. Which does make me more useless for the rest of the level, but it should be okay. If I'm just slightly more conservative. Um, but yeah, yeah. It didn't go like perfectly well. If anyone has any objections to doing this, though, I, I it's fine. I, I, we can do something else. All right, no objections. We want clear. Are you sure? Because like I already am lower difficulty than I normally would be. One hundred percent. So shall we give up? Okay. I did, I did say if, if someone objected, uh, that's fine. Uh, we can do something else as well. Or we can turn down the difficulty even more. But like, we are already playing on a lower difficulty than we normally would. It's like, a current difficulty, I would probably go for Apocalypse 2. Um, which obviously we haven't unlocked. All right, no one's typing. Okay, I, I thought I thought someone was typing because it, look, it looked like everyone was waiting. So I was wondering who was typing. <laughs> ah, sweet relief. The final boss is above the general difficulty levels. Yeah, it makes sense, it makes sense. I'm trying to like play much smarter this time. Cause last time I, I, I played really stupidly and I think that's a lot of why we lost. Cause I was frankly useless in the boss fight. And um, the problem with that is, is I, I, I am one of our main DPS. You said way above? Oh, right. I mean, again, yeah, if you want to go to a lower difficulty, uh, then say so, and I will. I, I, I've said many times, I don't mind quitting out. If anyone objects, I don't mind turning down the difficulty if anyone wants it. But it's just, I, I don't, I don't understand if it's fine or not. <laughs> Careful. I think there's an, is there any enemies over there? Yeah, yeah, definitely enemies over there. Alright. Alright, so shall we give up then? Uh, try on a lower difficulty. I hate how no one is saying anything. <laughs> you 
not built for damage? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I have a good amount of souls saved up, so that's good so far. Trying to waste as little resources as possible. Ow. That's a lot of enemies. Careful, careful, careful. Never mind. You can you kill those? <laughs> If, you, if we die here, I, I'm gonna say we give up and try and do a difficulty. Uh, even though no, no one else is uh, wanting to say it. Yeah, let, let's let's try again. We can't do it with one continue. So, return to camp. Is that okay with everyone? And we try a lower difficulty? Alright, let's return to camp. Uh, here, is that okay with you? I think you're just typing, so I'm just giving her a moment. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Always understanding, return to camp. You don't mind even if we lower, unless we lower drastically, we won't clear. Okay, so let's go back to camp. Why are you still continuing? I don't... Ah, my anxiety is tricking so much from this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to camp. I can't. I'm taking an executive decision. <laughs> Co-op streams are confusing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try and lowering difficulty. So, what is this recommend? Why, why is it saying 4 now? Why are we team power that low? It's, oh, someone's gearing properly. I'm gonna wait a moment. But yeah, we'll, we'll lower difficulty and it should be fine. Your game didn't like leaving? Uh, you. <laughs> Why does it say question mark? Uh. That's not good. Yeah, you you quit up. She crashed. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Let's just wait for you. Um, so, it's recommending, this is recommended 68, this is recommended 62, uh, this one 56, I think, I'm gonna say Adventure 6 is probably fine, but, uh, do you suggest that we do Adventure 5 instead? We can do Adventure 5 though, I don't mind particularly, I'm just not sure which one. It might be safer to go for Adventure 5, because ping and such. I feel like Lois is a bit much, but, but I think I feel like 5 is probably good. 
um, unless someone objects. And again, if you object, you don't have to say ready. Because I don't mind doing something different. I, the one thing I'm worried about is that this is not gonna like be a challenge anymore because like the, the problem with difficulty selection is I personally enjoy it when the game is a challenge I don't like when you just breeze through it um, But I obviously don't like when it's impossible um, But I don't know where the balance go and the problem is when you're dealing with co-op Then I am um, struggle way more with where the balance goes because in my mind what feels fun is a very large challenge um, but I know it's not like that for everyone else but you go first when you have some fireworks you can kill a bunch that's fair I forgot to have a map open, I should probably have open. You can't kill anything in your own, so you, you, uh, you die to any mark. Yeah, that is that is kind of the point of the, the support build. Uh, you, you can you can save us, but but you need us to damage. But that also makes it, um, makes it more interesting, because we need each other. You can't do anything? Well, I mean, that's not entirely true here, because I, I feel like you'd be completely screwed without your pets. <laughs> like, your pets is pulling a lot of weight here, <laughs> and they are still technically yours, so... If you count your pets, you can do a lot. Kinda like saying mystics don't do anything, because all they do is create their stupid summons. <laughs> well, as a priest main, I, I guess I'm fine with that argument. <laughs> One of the paths does a lot of our damage. Yeah, the, the iron golem is, is insane. Fair. This room looks so much different with a different uh, layout. Because last time it was uh, on a different angle and it has a completely different vibe when, when the door is in the bottom right, in the, uh, bottom left corner, sorry. Like this. Because there is some RNG to the level of design, but there's still follow up pattern. Right, like the big rooms are still there. It's just like the specific connections and angles and such are different. Hmm. Ba da ba 
Ba -ba I th are we close? I think we're close. All oh, right, that's still the rest of Golem. I forgot. Not close at all. Fair enough. Because I will admit, um, the problem with this level is, like, at, at difficulty five, this is kind of boring. Like, like that, it doesn't feel very challenging anymore. Um, but the problem is all the difficulties in the boss. Um, so I struggle to like judge if this is an appropriate level. And like the, the boss is more difficult than it should be due to ping. So it's kind of weird. I have no idea if this is a, a good level or not. Or uh, sorry, difficulty. Like I'm leaning to it slightly on the easy side, but, but I have no idea. I'm very, very bad at rushing difficulties. Um, ear tends to be better than that, but yeah. Leave me alone. You can't exactly tell the difficulty, that's fair. It's still too hard for you, so you can't... Gosh. I mean, well that's because your pets do all the work, right? Like, like you yourself don't do much damage because your iron golem does all the damage. Okay, I should run away. Uh... You do no damage and die on you instantly, even here, yeah? Well, yeah, just because, again, your pets. This is a different build. Um, I wouldn't be able to solo this either. Uh... God, I hate these. Oh, you're just going around doing the chest. I suppose we might as well when we're here. Take the free chest. I think it's fine to use a bit of soul there, because I get a lot of it back anyways. Alright, one more Bridgestone Golem, let's go. Bad, 
Okay, boss time. Are you ready? Wait, no, this is not. Wait, this is not the boss room. This is okay. I'm stupid. <laughs> I saw a jump pad and thought, oh yeah, this must be the boss room. Like I'm on. <laughs> Should be close though. Probably. Oh god, why why are these big enemies like right here? <laughs> Protection. Protection is broken on already big enemies. Makes them stupidly hard to kill. Ah, healing. Healing is great. What would I do without Alex? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right. Um, I think we ready. I have enough soul. Uh, um, it should be like much, much, much more easy. Uh, shall we go? We. Oui. Yeah, this is almost stupid how easy this is compared. Um, <laughs> like I know, no, this is just like the um, the phase one and the phase two is much harder, but still, <laughs> it dies so fast. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, it's time. Ah, uh, healing. Yeah, that that was um, that was a joke. I I, I guess five was a bit too easy after all. <laughs> Well, that's you. I mean, honestly, I personally believe that we could have taken seven, but hey. But we did it, and we unlocked Apocalypse. So now we have access to, I think, pretty much everything. I don't think there's any bosses that are, uh, sorry, any levels that are locked behind um, that level anymore. All right, uh, difficulties. It's hard to opinion, even if they're false. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Da, 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 da. Slightly better. 
Ghost Club. Beef Digging. Ooh. Better be them. Okay. So. Now comes the question. What do we do now? Yeah, do you want more iron golems? Because, like, the iron golems are broken. And we can actually farm for them now. Oh, thank you for the follow, Kami uh, Castle. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is a max four player game, so we're not doing an open lobby. Um, so, I, I, uh, unfortunately, I can't let you join. But thank you for asking. Alright. Let's go to Pumpkin Pasture. Uh, I feel like... Let's, uh, sure, we can do two, I think. Probably. Like, we... Yeah, we can usually do one higher. Than our own. And would make you... Um, feel a bit better. So if anyone g gets an iron golem, uh, give it to ear. But it should drop here, so it should be easy now. Stand still? I don't like standing still. Uh, it gives me anxiety. I, I usually move out around a lot. Uh, da -da 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 -da. More fun to move around. Why would you hit me? <laughs> That's rude. I think this is the correct level. I'm pretty sure this is the level the Iron Golem drops from. 90%-ish. Maybe. Okay, that, 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 um, creep is hurt. Good to know. <laughs> but we should be okay if we just take it a bit slow, stick together. Like, now we're back to difficulties that, uh, that, uh, don't, don't, don't rush too much yet. Because now we're actually back to difficulties where we should be. Um, so it's actually challenging again. So, so do be a bit careful and, and try not to rush ahead too much. No? What do you mean, no? I love how he was just standing there and taking it. It's great. Ah. We managed to get an iron golem, but like, if we do get one, we'll probably get one from, um, what's it called? From, from the end? Like the final chest? It's usually why you get the best stuff. You have a feeling that your health is basically binary here? Is I don't understand. How are you so squishy? Cause, uh, do you just have bad armor or something? D didn't we just upgrade it? <laughs> You don't understand either? We really should probably get you, like, some armor with protection or something. Probably not be a bad idea. Is, is there a specific set that you're using? Y 
You eat! What did I say about rushing ahead? I don't think I can save you in here. Yeah. You have a plus 1119 health armor? I said not to rush ahead, you idiot! <laughs> I swear! <laughs> Cause else this happens, and then I panic and try to rush in after you to save you, and then I can't. <laughs> yeah, cause, cause if, if you are dead for more than like 2 seconds, then we die. Due, due to the night. <laughs> Obviously I rush in ahead. Honestly, that is exactly why I, uh, you shouldn't rush ahead, cause then I panic, you know? I think that makes sense. You're blaming that one on Yui? Same. <laughs> you also give Alex a heart attack, because Alex is the healer. You have the health of ear? Uh, what, how is my armor? My armor is unenchanted. Why is none of my gear enchanted? Like, my, mine is a bit... I do have protection on mine, so that's probably... Why well, I used to. Oh! I think I figured out why the boss was harder than it should be. Uh, all of my gear is unenchanted. <laughs> that would probably make a difference. Also explains why I feel like I'm doing no damage. Yeah, uh, besides my artifacts. <laughs> uh, I, I can't while I'm being killed. Um, whoops. Oh, thank you for the hydrate and stretch. I'll do that in a moment. I just... Oh, anime counter is great. How is that a po just drinking water a punishment? I don't understand. <laughs> By making her drink? What else can you do? <laughs> Why would you do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Just to say. Got something to drink. So, let's go. Fix my gear. Aeron ready? Mm, I guess there's two and all. I do hope we get the Iron Golem, because, um, yeah, H having most- I can imagine if, um, like, one of the problems is, ear dies pretty fast. Admittedly, I also die pretty fast, uh, it, it's just, I also heal a lot as long as everyone is alive. Uh, like, the, what I've noticed is, the enemies on higher difficulties, they still die pretty quickly, but they just hurt a lot. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying is, um, I think, like, one of our problems is if Eir is the only one alive, then we, we're struggling a bit. Uh, same with Alex, but also Eir. Uh, so I feel like if 
If it has multiple iron golems, it will be much easier for Eart to create a distraction while she wrestles. Especially since iron golems are broken and have like infinite health. I feel like that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean to be honest, the main reason why I survive so fast is anime counter it, I think. Like, whenever I kill things, I heal. So as long as there's small things I can kill, I'm doing fine. In general, I'm a lot better at dealing with smaller things, because most of my damage is AoE, and um, killing things gives me more soul and health. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly built to deal with bosses, I would say. You can heal summons? Uh, uh, yes, you can heal summons. Honestly, that is the main reason why I removed the soul healer. Because that, that there's the like item that heals that's also uh, synergistic with soul. But the problem with it is it says single target heal that targets the lowest health ally. Uh, and that includes summons. So like a lot of the time, you would just take my soul to heal a B. And that just felt bad. <laughs> Like, no one cares if you heal a B. That's <laughs> chess. Might as well. While we're here. <laughs> Die. <laughs> You got the golem? Eh, hey, nice. One golem down, one more to go. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get one from the... Ah, oh, I need healing. That's bad. I'm hoping we can get one from the final chest, because that's usually where we get them. Alright, that's usually the best place if you need an artifact. And we get to roll it uh, four times. Stuck. Alright. Uh, Goody. Stay near everyone else. This to be safe. Hey, Vogus is here, friends. There's no supplies here. I I I um, I misclicked. <laughs> Good. 
Goodie. That was <laughs> get them. <in. laughs> uh, I think we're pretty close. I can't remember there being that much less of the level, but then again, I can't remember this level very well, so... What is a cute bridge? I'm a big fan of a good bridge design, and this rope bridge is pretty cute. I will admit. Do you like a cute rope bridge? This is the final one. It is time, chat. I hate that annoying laugh that, that the um, arch illager does. It's so rude. Like, how dare you? <laughs> I still don't understand how Eot uses emotes. I have never figured it out. <laughs> In this game. Like dances and such. Maybe I should just look at the controls, that'll probably be easier. Whoa, who had a phone? <laughs> Looking at the controls will be an easy way to figure out what the controls are. Incredible. <laughs> nice. Good job, boss. Come on, Iron Golem. The villagers of the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day. We can do it. No clue what is on keyboard, but it's trigger and controller. I suppose. I, I guess that's ah, got a fitter. Oof, that's not not uh, <laughs> the one I need up. Really, if I re choose to be by the V key, that's pretty random. Alright, so we. I think we only. Got one iron golem. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. How are you? But hey, two iron golems still pretty good. Uh, do you want a third iron golem? Just came back from the gym. Oh, good, good. It's good to take care of your body. Are you fine with two, yeah? Because we can definitely go again to try and... Actually, I think there's another level that drops up. If I think about it. Let me just double check. Okay, where is it dropped? Uh, Saving. Pumpkin, yeah, yeah, that's a DLC level that drops the Iron Golem. We could definitely go there, actually. Want to start doing the DLC, if you still have time to play? I don't know when you need to start. And we have done all the main levels, so we could start doing DLC content. Specifically the ice level. 
uh, apparently has her. In apocalypse mode. Just so we don't constantly do the same level, you know? Fine with whatever. Flexible. I mean, flexible is always fun. I'm gonna presume that this means that the other two are also fine with whatever, even if they haven't said anything. Um, so I'm gonna say let's go to the Frosted Fjord. Uh, this one doesn't drop it, but the level after this does drop Iron Golems, unless someone complains. Um, you're welcome to say no if you you uh, rather do something else. Hmm. But I do actually want to do the DLC levels. DLC levels are pretty cool. When the orb of dominance shattered, it split into powerful shards that spread across the overworld. A shard fell upon this unlucky land, and a creeping winter is now consuming this once lively place. Until the shard is destroyed, the devastating frost hmm. will continue to spread, smothering all life in snow and shadow. That's a super cool aesthetic. Oh my god, they even have Viking ships. Oh my god, that's amazing. Fuzz punk vibes? I don't know what Frostpunk is, so... I really like the aesthetic of like, kind of like this Viking nation in ruins. It looks so good. Was that a sound? Oh yeah, you had found something. Haha! -ha. Uh, surprisingly not any enemies in this area. Interesting. I stand correct then. Is there anything in here? There's nothing in here. I remember though, uh, like, the first time I played this game, I played with only Ear, uh, and I remember Ear hated the ice level so much, but I believe that was because of her, her computer being bad, so she couldn't see anything and she couldn't move very well because there's ice in this level. Um, but I, I'm guessing that it's probably going to be better now, because like, it has a much better computer now than last time we played. So I'm guessing it's gonna be okay. I really don't want us to cross this bridge, huh? <laughs> you mean kill the Iron Golem? That's rude. Alright, good. Oh god, that's bad. How did you even get- whoops. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta kill the enchanters. Nice. That'll help with them. 
everything is dead. We can be happy. Bang. Alright, um... I hate the pillar people. I don't know what to call them. I'm like the, the guys summon pillars. I hate them so much. It's such a pain. <laughs> Bad. Polar bear. It's a polar bear. I don't know why I'm so excited by polar bears, but polar bears are great, okay, chat? Who doesn't like a polar bear? Well, I mean, a, a seal probably doesn't like a polar bear, but that's a different matter. I'm not a seal, so therefore I like polar bears. I mean, I, I, I did just kill, like, a couple of them, but that's a... That's shush. It's fine, chat. It's fine. <laughs> You okay? Yeah? You like to uh, seal you with a real polar bear and say <laughs> say that you like them still. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, polar bears are terrifying creatures, <laughs> but they're so cute. Yeah, okay, it's just making a pun. It's a good pun. <laughs> Seal. Doesn't Greenland have polar bears? I don't live in Greenland. I've never been to Greenland, so... That's like saying, doesn't Alaska have uh, polar bears, Yui? Aren't you American? So surely you've seen polar bears in Alaska. You haven't, you been to every state like a Sri Lanka? Oh, and don't forget the overseas territories. Like, haven't you been to Puerto Rico? That's a real question. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's polar bears uh, on Greenland, yes. But, I'm, like, there's not much to see on Greenland. So, like, I, like, I, I, I haven't been there. It, it might be part of them, like, but, but, um,. Like, I haven't been there and I don't intend to go. I'm not particularly interested in a cold, desolate wasteland. More to see than in Denmark? Um, debatable. This is bigger. Okay, fair. Uh, I feel like we have more interesting sites, though. Like, like, Greenland is pretty empty. It doesn't live that many people there. We, we have, Denmark has, like, super cool architecture and such. Like, urban areas in Denmark are way more interesting. What isn't bigger than Denmark? Uh, th there's quite a lot of places that's not bigger than Denmark. Like, the Vatican. Kind of tempted to change armor. I feel like that's probably a good idea. Uh, it sounds like your armor is not that strong. Does your armor have some good qualities that you like? What? What did I do? I can try and see if I have a armor of the set that you want that has some good, some good enchants. But I don't know what set you want, so. Mm, is there anything here? Got one with less rolls, no bees, but way tankier. And when you heal, you make your pets explode. Okay, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I, I, I would go with that if I was you. <laughs> you make your pets explode. I love that. That's amazing. 
When your first thing to say you're bigger than is the smallest city they say, that's not a good sign. I mean, I just, on the top of my head, I, I can't remember what countries are smaller than me. I know Luxembourg is smaller, but like, Luxembourg is also pretty small. Oh no, chat. The ice physics suffering. <laughs> oh, right, the ice onager. Yeah, he's from here. I, I forgot. The guy that, that tried so hard yet failed to get into Minecraft. I must admit, chat, I did actually vote for the ice onager. I thought he could be cool. Um, like, the glow squid is like, it's cool, but it feels pretty meh. It doesn't, I don't think. Glow squid does that much. I do like the glowing signs though. Those are nice. But yeah, I, I, I still, um, I don't regret voting for the isolator. That's not okay. It's fucking polar bear, it's terrifying, I swear. So how does your new armor feel here? Does it feel better? It's just fighting next to you, so... I mean, I, I, I can't tell how quickly you normally like. You did seem pretty tanky, though. So I'm guessing that's a yes. But I wouldn't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The pillar men, I swear, I hate them. So much. Ah, oh, nice. Not good. Please don't die, please don't die. Yes. Wait, can we not get up here again? Okay, we cannot. Okay, good to know. We But yeah, the, the pets explode thing does sound really funny, I will admit. Shut up, Yui. Whoops. 
That's less soaking up damage. The thing is, uh, as 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 Eert said, um, the 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 pets exploding mechanic. It doesn't actually kill the pets. It's just whenever she uses a potion, all the pets create is, create an explosion effect around them, which is um, I think is what she said. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm. It deals her 5,000 damage to you. I don't know how much that is, but it does seem like a lot. So yeah, you're significantly more useful now, which is good. I killed the rabbit. And it dropped the cooked salmon. And I'm not sure how to feel about that. It's landfish. <laughs> Who knew? Rabbits were just landfishes in disguise. Okay. Eh, what could go wrong? I... Oh, that's what those do. I see. <laughs> oh, they're creepers. Oh god, they're all creepers. Uh... Good to know. Good to know. Not just creepers, they're, they're frozen creepers too, because why not? But it, hey, they give chests, so good thing we did it. See, we got two chests. Oh god, they're still not over. Please, 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 don't kill, don't kill, good. Where am I even? Oh, I'm over there. Whoops. I don't think Yui can survive this alone. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually impressed by how long Eert managed to take that. Like, Eert almost single-handedly saving it up. I am actually very impressed. Why, why, why are we splitting up? I don't understand. <laughs> if Yui dies while we're split up, I'm gonna be very mad. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> Sliding on ice is actually kind of fun. I, can't, I think I kind of like the ice mechanics. This is fun. It, you might even say it's pretty chill. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on. That was good. Oh, careful of minecarts. If they show up. He was good. I don't care what to say. You just don't have any humor. Surely Eert is on my side. Hmm. Yui is too impatient.
was not a compliment. <laughs> Who is so like nice? I won't complain. I thought you die. After throwing it in C? You can tell me. That's a cool ass statue. The explosions are as strong as 5 TNT. Damn! <laughs> and it's every time you click the health potion, right? That is not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Cash is giving a massive cave. No fun. I get it's kind of my fault because I also missed it before heading back. No. Webs, I hate webs. Webs are the worst. There's a doll here. I don't know where that goes. Let's just search the rest of the room first. There's nothing over here of interest. It, it's still, I really like the aesthetic of this. This looks so cool. Oh, this area. I believe this is. Um... Alright, so, there's one. Wait. Huh. Oh, whoops. This is a combat zone. Uh, there's stairs on the right here. If, if uh, ple please, the stairs right next to the door. No, not over there. There's no stairs there. Right next to the door. Please go up the stairs and then to the right or left. I don't know. Like right there. Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> Alex is still confused. It's right there, Alex. By the wood. <laughs> Between the logs. Am I that bad at giving directions, chat? <laughs> Oops. This area is massive, holy fuck. Ow. Ooh, nice. Little bit of emeralds. For if you want them. I accidentally hit my uh, my knee against my table, uh, and now my knee hurts like hell. Uh, that was not a good idea. I cannot recommend. It. 
This area is massive. Is this really a side area? I guess there's this entire like underwater area too. Or like like you clear out the water of this place. Holy fuck, this big side content is massive. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. You, you are where you're not actually hitting anything because you're too high up, right? A random guy just up there, chilling. Unfortunately, he's not allowed to. It looks cool, I mean fair. Not a cave over here. The fuck. This keeps going. Alright, what did that accomplish? Did that do nothing? Oh, it opened the door. Right. I'm smart. Didn't get the chest. Whoops. Whoops. Aha. Uh -huh. Made it. Then we go in here, I guess. I mean, there's still a stop area down here. Um, oh, that's a right mission unlocked. Nice, lost settlement. Lost settlement is the mission that drops the um, what's it called? Uh, Iron Golem Cat. That's from that one. All of that was optional side content. Holy fuck. <laughs> When you put more effort into the side uh, area than, than the actual level, and we almost walked past that entire thing. <laughs> this game has actually worth it, DLC. Yeah, the DLC in this game is great. This is such a cool level. I love the aesthetic. And like just the aesthetic and everything is so cool. It makes use of a lot of the areas in the game that it didn't make use of in the base game. Like it never used the coal biomes uh, at all. Uh, so adding in the as DLC because you can't obviously can't fit everything into the main game. Is really really smart, and there's a lot of creative ideas here, uh, like the emptying the river and the ice mechanics and such. Like it's using its environment well.
definitely didn't just walk off the uh, the edge. I don't know what we're talking about. I would never do something like that. You would have to be truly a moron to just walk off the edge casually. What? My chest! That's not okay. Can't, can't just take my chest like that. <laughs> just wait a moment. Alright, let's go. Ow. Somehow didn't get frozen. Not sure how that works. Making good progress. Cute little nook and cranny there. This level's massive. If you count the side areas. Both synergy with armor? Oh! Nice! How so? Reduces potion cooldown and kill. Okay, yeah, that's a very good bow. Uh, if your armor likes potions. Also, we need to go the other way. Alright, there's nothing here. Great. Yeah, we do some potion cooldown on kill is really good. It means way more common pet explosions. And pet explosions are funny. I will admit. I, I, they do look very fun. <laughs> Sounds like you have a pretty good build going. Almost done. Yeah. Alright, so that's the, that part. We can continue. Whoops. And not just more common paired explosions, it's also just more common healing. Like, like potions are also good outside of the paired explosions, admittedly. My potions on their own are which is great. I use them a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Blended rope. That looks pretty cool. What does that do? Where is it? Oh, it's all the way up here. Uh... Hmm. Not 
the best, but like plus 50% artifact damage, minus 40% artifact well, This is really good if I had a different build. Um, Doesn't really synergize well with Soul though. I'm considering at some point to change my build, but for now I'm really enjoying Soul. And I get to use an edgy scythe. It's great. Game doesn't like me alive? What do you mean the game doesn't like you alive? Did you crash? Oh Jesus Christ. Yep. Ah, uh, that's great. Uh, okay, so just wait for Yuri. Let's not like kill too many things if we can avoid it. So we don't like get too much far ahead of our NXP and such. Can explore this area a bit. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. While we wait for Yui. Ooh, chest. Oops, there's not a button. I meant to click F. So I can invite Yui again. And we'll just wait here for Yui so we can quickly finish the level. You already here? Wait for Yui. Immediately use his chest. Fair. <laughs> I, I see your argument. I don't think we're that far ahead of like like last time I checked we were all pretty close to level. What the fuck? Four ahead. Wait, we have four levels ahead? Holy fuck. When did that happen? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because, like, level does nothing, but still. What the fuck? I thought we were all the same level. Are you not level 70? Huh. Interesting. Huh. Well, it does nothing, so it doesn't matter. Like, the only thing it does is you have more enchanting points, but I already have more enchanting points than I need. So... Like, all my, all my gear is already max. So until I get better gear, I don't need more enchanting points. Ah, healing. Ah. Speed. I still love the fact that I can just like snipe enemies way ahead of us. Just just for the fun of it. So, so like we uh, ma make it easier for us so we don't need to deal with the annoying enemies. We can and enchant that enchanter can die. Especially in an area like this where you can see down the hill very easily. It's very easy for me to snipe. That's a lot of enemies. Illusioner. Oh. It spawns illusions of itself, but only one of them are real. And we need to kill the real one. 
I believe that game one is actually in Minecraft, or is it? In, wait, no, maybe it's. Oh no, it's uh, unused content in Minecraft, right? Like, like it exists in the Minecraft files, but it never got actually added. I believe it is. Put this one over. Yeah, it's in the game, but doesn't spawn. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's a very annoying enemy. <laughs> Alright, finally it's that. Uh, and we open the door. Goody. Ow. We did a victory! <laughs> Though we should probably stop stream here, because it's getting a bit late. Yeah, stream end, I agree. Next time we'll finish the uh, ice area and get here another iron golem, probably. If she wants that. You went over time? It's fine, it's fine. I can go a little over time. It's not much. I have the guardian. Hmm. Wait. Is this what I think it is? Uh, let me just try it out. Okay. That is pretty damn cool. So it's pretty much like the uh, Corrupted Beacon, but it doesn't use... Use the soul. And it works a bit differently, but it's pretty cool out of it. Uh, if I if I decide to change out of soul, I'll probably use it. And I'm considering changing out of soul at some point. It's a more pure art artifact damage ball. But yeah, thank you for seeing everyone. Uh, I'll quickly look for someone to raid. Uh, and then we'll end the stream. Just give me a moment. Uh, who's your raid? Who's your raid? That is always the question. It's always so hard to answer. Hmm. If you even can find anyone that I want to raid, that is always. The even harder question to answer, can I find someone I want to raid? Uh, the answer is probably a solid maybe. I would expect. That could be fun. Uh, sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Thank you for streaming, everyone. Uh, I'm rating someone playing uh, Pokemon X. That seemed fun. And uh, I'll see you next time if I can spill the name. I should be playing. What are we playing tomorrow? We're playing Rapid Rapid tomorrow, right? That should be fun. We're finally doing the gayest level of Rapid Rapid. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to get some nice rares. Good night, everyone. I'll try and start the rain. Haha! I did it! Look at me go! I'm, I'm a professional streamer, I swear! <laughs> but yeah, good night everyone, I'll see you next time. Bye!